Hi everyone, this is Manny from Art Miller's. I had created this house some time ago and I'd shared with you all my technique and it was much liked. So thank you so much for watching it. I did receive a few comments and a few of you have asked me what was the material settings, uh, render settings and how did I texture this house. So, so this video is spending a long time and I decided to make a quick one for you. I'm hoping this will answer all your questions. So just before we start, I want to show you how it looks um, without post-processing because that is playing a very important role to it looks because we want to keep it uh, stylized and very cartoon sort of like a line art. So first thing what I would do is I will switch off uh, post-processing, okay? So there you go. Uh, you see it's looking very dull and that's exactly what I meant. So next I want to break it down to the material settings. Uh, what I've done is I've chosen color with less saturations having more gray element so i've added three spears here and i've chosen those three colors uh, random colors which i've used in my house and uh, yeah with the help of eyedropper and so you see like it's really dull it like very grayish and what is happening here is um, walls that are exposed to direct lights are picking up a lighter shade the shade which i've chosen and um, the one which is not getting exposed to direct lightning are becoming a little bit darker also the one which is very close to light for example in the living room down you see at the both are the same yellow but one is appearing darker and one is very bright and that's because of the lights so variation will occur depending on the lights you have set in the scene so i've not kept anything very dark even the black you see here is basically a little bit dark gray. So I've not kept anything very dark. I have not kept anything very light. And you probably noticed that um, my roughness was uh, around 0.5 value and metalness is zero. So last thing, we'll talk about post-processing because uh, this is where the magic is happening. Okay, so what I've done is I've reset everything and we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so let's hit post-processing on. Let's pin it so it stays. Uh, all right, so quality, max samples, full resolution is ticked. Um, so this might be appearing a little bit different because uh, now we have Nomad Sculpt updated, I think just a couple of days ago, but that shouldn't matter, okay? Things which are not appearing on your iPad, if you're not updated, well, we're not gonna use that anyways. Okay, so reflection. So this is basically is useful when the metal interacting with any more reflective surface. So it doesn't matter whether you keep it on or not, uh, but let's go with it on. Global animation will not do that time being. Um, this is again the updated feature, but we'll ignore that at the moment. Ambient inclusion. Yeah, this is very useful because you want to highlight some shadow areas. This is my setting. Obviously you can um, tweak. I've kept it. The size would really matter because size will define how much shade you want. Okay, so let's go with this. Uh, it's probably a little bit more. So let's keep it down somewhere around this way depth of field i won't worry at the moment bloom yes because we have put some lights here like the bulbs um, and you we want it to glow let's hit bloom and that's my setting there this is where the fun begins so once you hit tone you would see the darker areas get even more darker you can add more contrast to your house but once we did this and that's my setting you see here but once we turn this on i feel like our ambient occlusion is a little bit too much so let's bring this down a little bit okay and then i've done some tweaks in color grading as well this would not really matter but i want to make it look like a night scene because we have lights there so i think i've tweaked a little bit i read in green value so you see like if you tweak a little bit green value gets, gets a little bit more bluish it appear like a night scene so that's color grading coming to curvature so this is where you get the feel of line art so once you turn it on you would see bump and cavity you might see a little bit different when i created that house uh, i had a previous version so but yeah it's not now you have a little bit more power to tweak the black here in the cavity is what is giving the line art appearance so i think it's a little bit too much so we can bring it down to somewhat like this. Yeah, we can bring the bump as well down. So this, the curvature is where you're getting the feel of line art, very important. And we can do one more thing. Um, obviously you can choose a little bit vignette. I won't worry about grain and sharpness. Yes, so this is also adding a little bit of a, a feel of a, like an art because once you increase the 
the sharpness value, the line art which you have put there enhances and so does all the border like the windows and the sharpness is um, another very important thing which is giving this looks. And basically these are my settings and it should sort of give you the look and feel I had in my house when I created one. Oh, by, by the way, this is bonus tip. We have this light cone thing going on here, right? So basically I've added a cone there. It's Manny from Art Mellows. I had created and I've made it, uh, let's see the material settings here. So it's basically blending and I've reduced the opacity. That's it basically. So hope this was useful. Let me know and um, we'll see you in the next video. This is Manny signing out now.